Hi guys, uh, haven't done YouTube video for ages, moved house, got a new kit room, it's an absolute mess already, had a few tournaments this year, um, so yeah, really just in the process of, you know, working hard to prepare for those, uh, had a good season so far, just won back-to-back -back comps in uh, Pike Predator Maniac, uh, which was good, it uh, was a top five format. So had uh, five pike up to about 20 pound, had a 99 centimeter, which was probably 20 pound or thereabouts, didn't weigh it, but very close. Uh, had, um, had a 93, so it would have been a good mid double. Then a few around the sort of 60 centimeter mark and, and managed to win by a good 30 or 40 centimeters, I think in the end, so that was good. Following week, we had the LES uh, specimen or Predator Cup, uh, one pike, one perch, one Xander. We, me and Kev got good history in that, so um, yeah, did very well. We won that as well. And yeah, just back from that and trying to tidy up and prepare for the next comp, which is Perch Pro, and then we got Xander Cup, and then Perch Mania at Grafham. So yeah, uh, ordered a load of stuff, so I thought I'd do an unboxing vid, just ordered a new rod as well, new W6. Let me try and show you this. So this is W6 Finesse Shad. I think you can read that. Might be back to front. Finesse Shad, seven foot four, uh, 10 to 28. Uh, on recommendation from Jorgen, Jorgen Larsen at Westin. Um, he's uses this rod for a little bit heavier perch fishing and a little bit heavier zand fishing. Very, very fast action, he told me. So really looking forward to, to using this very light rod, kind of in that medium range. You know, it's not going to throw super huge lures, uh, but it's not at the finesse end. But yeah, a good all round reservoir rod, I imagine. Let me put it together. Let's see what see what it feels like. It's certainly very slim. I think the um, I really like the red rods, actually. I think they're really noticeable. Yeah, that's a very, very fast action straight away. I uh, love the handles. I think I'm going to enjoy that rod quite a lot. I'll probably pair it up with a 2,500 size reel. Um, and yeah, something like what the YGK braid. Uh, I've just had my batteries on charge. I'm going to open this up. Let's see what we've got in here. This is probably some quite cool new stuff coming through from Westin and uh, it's probably worth me telling you you know what what I'm looking for what I'm going to be using hopefully you can pick up a few tips about this type of kit so oh that's just boxing oh yes oh I like it when we get deliveries so what we got first up uh oh the new jacket so this is the new um I've got the original in fact, I've got it here. Let me show you. Up. This one came out last year. It's um, the soft shell, so it's a really good in between. It's for they they sort of say spring and autumn. You know, it's not a deep winter jacket, although you can layer up with it. Um, semi waterproof. This one, really comfy. I'm sort of six foot one, um, and I tend to be a large or an XL in most of these sizes, but but they're just, they fit really, really nicely. If you like a slimmer fit, you know, um, go for a standard size. If you like a little bit looser, go one up. Um, but they're not over baggy or, or over huge at all. So that was, I've had that one for about a year and it's absolutely brilliant. But we just brought out, this is the new one. Um, so slightly different color, pretty smart still. I like all of the Westin stuff because it's very, very, it's quite stylish, it's not overstated, you know, they just concentrate on quality um, and it, that just really suits me. Um, hooded, little Westin logos on there, little kind of blue coloured zips, looks really smart. And I've got, a th I think this one is a little bit more on the waterproof side. So the next, so the latest version that they brought out goes a little bit better on waterproof. Super duty, soft cell, uh, black. Yeah, looking forward to um, looking forward to trying that on. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but little update. I've been obviously fishing quite a lot of the um, the reservoirs lately. Uh, some of them have been good. WPC, me and Kev had quite a good result. What do we think of that? Yeah, that looks quite smart. So I'm I'm XL, and I probably you know I'm not 
I'm not the smallest guy in the world, but I'm certainly not a huge guy, uh, you know, build wise. But yes, yeah, sort of six foot ish tall, and that XL is absolutely perfect for me. So that's cool. Yeah, so we were fishing at, at Grafham for WPC. Uh, fished hard. The Xander fishing is incredibly hard at the moment. In fact, the perch fishing at the time was, was okay. What we found was the water was warm. It was 18, 19-ish degrees. Uh, and in that summertime, I know when that water's warm, I can get those fish to react to a crankbait. Um, I was very, very certain because I'd been fishing Pittsford a lot. Pittsford opens in May. Been catching a lot of perch on the West End, buzz bite in particular. Um, catching a lot of perch on crankbaits, big perch. I've had 33 pounders now and countless two up, two pound upwards. Um, and yeah, I knew I could get them to react to a crankbait and I knew fishing positive would be good. Uh, and had a brace of fours, a 312. Uh, Kev had another three pounder and then we had another small one to go with. We had a, quite a few small ones actually. We spent day two fishing all day for Xander pretty much, and it just didn't happen. There was only about 10 or 12 caught in the whole competition, so it was a bit disappointing, but um, came fourth in the end. We fished for a win. One more big perch that I think we could have caught if we'd spent on the second day would have got us third, but we were fishing to win, so. Um, but yeah, it's a couple of nice t-shirts there. A new tournament, new tournament shirt for me as well. Really like these. Very, very smart. Uh, that should be XL as well. Yeah, it is. Great. Uh, now on to the business end. Oh, yes. So, what have we got? Try and show you. God, we've got loads. So, new Westin Cree Craw. Absolutely amazing. Uh, a lot of the colours are dual colours. So you see here, you've got a dark top and then a lighter green. Uh, we also do one with a dark top that's got orange on it, like that. You see those ones? Um, what else we got? Uh, oh, I've got some ring craws in there as well. They're the new sort of crawfish type bait. Um, and I've got sangria as well on the Cree craw. So nice sort of red colour and, and slightly different, which I do like. Got some good Xander fishing coming up. Um, perch seem to be a bit of a theme this year with the numbers of perch that are, are breeding and the big swarms of small ones that you often uh, foul hook on, on the reservoirs. So definitely perch style baits. Um, and you also can't go wrong vertical jigging with just a bait fishy type one. My favorite out of all of them, always the headlight. You know, tried and trusted. What else we got? We got a few jig heads. Yeah, that's the um, the LT range, which is the light ones. We do a, a, a standard range in the middle and then we do the HD as well. Um, you'll notice the same theme. Bling perch, I've caught more fish on bling perch this year than anything else. Um, and and a sort of a roachy style there as well. Um, originally, the first swims that I got were, were in like low floating or suspending. I've gone for a couple of sinking options here because you've obviously got to fish them a little bit quicker. Um, when you do need to slow down when that water temperature, you know, December, January, February, when it's coming down to that five, six, five, four degree range, you want to be using those suspending ones because they, they do sink ever so slowly with a wire trace on or once you've got your clips and your hardware on there. Um, but that forces you to fish slow, you know, drop, drop, pause, twitch, twitch, pause and it forces you to fish slow fish them quick and they come up in the water too much so um what else we got a few trebles i'm always making up my own stingers these western trebles are mega buzz bite new four centimeter buzz bite absolutely amazing on the canals um so looking forward to getting back on the canals haven't fished them much since the spring but yeah buzz bite that's five centimeters next size up and then probably got some six centimeters in here as well so yeah, a couple of six centimeters. These are the new colors. So uh, uh, steel sardine, that shiny one here. And then we've got classic headlight there as well. Uh, that buzz bite six centimeters caught me thousands of awesome perch this year on the resis. Uh, yeah, five centimeter buzz bites. What else we got? A few more jig heads. 
some clips, more jig heads. Been stocking up because we've got predator season and tournament season coming up. Some screw in jig heads. Yeah, we do some top quality screw ins as well. So I think I've got 20 and 30 grams. I'm going to do those for my sort of sharp shooting, pelagic sharp shooting. Uh, again, some more Westin trebles. Very, very good. Oh, cold weather's coming. Definitely need one of these cool Westin hats. Put one of these on, see what it's like. Oh yeah, nice little bobble on there too. <laughs> and then, yeah, got some other, other soft baits as well. Um, hypo tees. My absolute favourite size in the hypo tees is nine centimetre. They do a six and a half, which is quite small. Occasionally I use it on canals, um, but the nine is amazing. It then goes up to... I think it's 13 after that and I do occasionally use that for what I class as like negative pike fishing because it's quite a quite a negative lure I class it more as a perch and a zander lure than a pike lure but in the 13 centimeters if they're if they want a little skinny bait that hasn't got lots of body roll just a little bit of tail wiggle um the hyper tease is very very good in those sizes for UK I, I know some of the guys on the continent use the the much bigger size um Hyper tees, I think they go up to 15 and then there might be one above that as well, um, which can be very good. But in the UK, I'm finding more and more that the pike fishing now is is um, getting quite pressured. So fishing slightly sort of medium sized baits rather than enormous ones definitely gets you a few more bites. Uh, this is the mini tees in Fireflake. That's the one that's got uh, the air pocket in the middle as well. So it's got that lovely buoyancy. And again, Hyper Tees, nine centimeter in Fire Tiger. Uh, Hyper, Hyper Tees, nine centimeter, motor oil. Love a bit of motor oil. Don't tell everyone though. Um, oh, got some more stick worms as well. This is the new stick bait, you know, the old Senko style. Weston brought out this year. Um, what else we got? Oh, more Cree Craws. Blue and black, that is a sexy color, that is. Uh, a lot of the American bass anglers use a lot of black and blue. Um, more ring crawls there in, oh, that's motor oil pepper, so it's got the black flake in. Um, and then we've got a bit of Stanley the Stickleback as well. One thing I'm noticing a lot more uh, is I'm really trying to find, so that's partly why, I'll show you on the hyper tease if I can find them. Uh, where are we? Here we go, hyper tease in. Let me get one out of the packet for you. I'm really noticing that a lot of these reservoirs that we fish in the UK, Grapham, Rutland, Pittsford, Buell, um, Farmore, Ardley, you know, there's quite, quite a lot, Hanningfield that we've got around here. They do receive quite a lot of pressure now, and I'm noticing more and more that baits that are as realistic as you can get them are really fishing well. So having a look, you can see we've got two different fins under here. We've got a dorsal fin, tail fins, anal fins. You know, it just looks really, really good. Um, you know, lifelike eyes, if you have a look like that, even a mouth, you know, I just feel like the more realistic you can get these baits, the more bites you're gonna get. Um, and particularly with Stanley, the stickleback, he comes in a nice kind of five and a half centimeter and seven and a half centimeter size, um, but is is just very, very lifelike. And it's got really, so this is the, the uh, clear water mix that you'll see there, seven and a half centimeters. And you can probably see really hand painted, really realistic. So we've got, you know, ones like this, for example, you know, that could be, that could be anything. It's got its fins, obviously it's got its stickle tops here, but even if you actually chopped those off, it's a perfect imitation for a little roach, a little bait fish. Um, you know, something like this could be a baby zander, baby perch. That's really why I got, I got this because there's so many baby zander and baby perch on Rutland and Grafham at the moment that I'm trying to sort of match the hatch. And that was the closest that I could find. So three inches, uh, I think that's gonna be a really, really good bait for me. Um, good, right, we're gonna wrap up now. Just got the last few to go through. And what have we got? Had 720 so far this year, pike. Um, 
and you can't beat the Western Shad Tees. 12 centimeter and 16 centimeter. You'll notice the theme, headlight, official roach, um, and bling perch. Bling perch, amazing. Headlight, amazing. You don't need to break the bank. Just get a few of the tried and tested ones and you'll definitely catch. And then a couple of the Shad T Slim, which I'm a big, big fan of as well for big perch. Um, 10 centimeter, again, looking a little bit like a baby Xander. Uh, and then also at times you just can't go wrong with something nice and chartreuse, especially in that deep water at Rutland. Not much light penetration gets down there. You know, having a little bit of, a uh, little bit of color for them to react to is fantastic. So there we go, guys. Got some new Xander kit, new rod, some great new lures. Can't wait to test them. Uh, if you've got any questions about Westin stuff, give me a call, drop comments below if you fancy, and I'll try and get back to you. Um, until then, I'll see you on the next one.